before I went to America and England. After my return, every particle of dust of this land seemed sacred to me. My dear friends, I have this morning a ple I have this morning a pleasant duty and honor to welcome you to the inaugural of this International Conference 2012 on India Diaspora Interlinkages and Synergy. I would like to begin my address by drawing your attention to the importance of the diaspora in 21st century to different countries. People have been migrating well before 14th century. India has always played a key role in almost all the countries that are hosting Indians. The Indian diaspora has the third largest presence in the world. Today, India wants to build up strong linkages with its diaspora. Pravasi Bharatiya Divas, which is celebrated in India every year, proves this fact. I am very happy to say that the precursor of Pravasi Bharatiya Divas, Sri J.C. Sarma, is the chief guest of the tourist function. He would definitely tell us about the importance of this kind of the event. As an educationalist, I can relate to the necessity of much mature tie-up with the diaspora, but over my experience as a citizen of the state of the Gujarat convinces me that the diasporic linkages are changing and I need a different focus now to strengthen the scenario. If one goes to into the history of the state of the Gujarat, then perhaps the earliest record it on inward migration, which is still evident in the front of the city, community who are considered to be a descendant of the Moors. Today, they are culturally, they are ingrained that this land, that they are known to be a Gujarati series. Even the history of the independence struggle of India would not have been same if the Gandhiji had not been to the South Africa. Remained that as an NRI for some time and came back to lead the Satyagraha of this country. Similarly, we have seen that Gujarat has exported the exequate techniques of the time dying known as Aikat across South and Southeast Asia. In the present time, however, the older form of the diasporic linkages are transforming. Today, the social and cultural values of youth are far different from the older generation. The joint family has already converted to the nuclear family. So the diasporic relationship will not be have the form by a basis to the family relationship. Today, the future development of the society is not based on the ethical, social and religious values. This, is, uh, this has led to an increase in crime in the society, what we have seen in the Australia, in some of the part of the England. Uh, one poet said, "This was to ka mool thek nahi hota, isme dosto ka bhi fool bhi nahi hota." To start with, I can say that criminal activities are viciously directed towards many NRIs and PIOs across the world. <coughs> the war between the countries, which were fought face to face, has now gone to the cyber place. The war are more economical in nature as they were in the petroleum resources. The next war may be very well be over the fresh water and weapons are likely to have more genomic in the content. In this situation, it is not surprising that the diasporic population has started looking back on their countries of origin and are now hungry for closer linkages with its even uh, reverse migration. In these uncertain times, a mutual trust is to be built and the awareness to be generated, a joint responsibility is to be shared by both the diaspora and the natives of the India. The study about the Indian diaspora is an urgent and emergent issue. The courses at the Gujarat University are trying hard to collaborate positively between the two communities. Our diaspora shall keep us informed and we, at the same time, must give them the warmth which is given in the form of the emotions and spiritual linkages. India cannot grow without its active diaspora. The total image building exercise depends upon the diaspora mindset and its activity. Diaspora has become important factor in international relations today as it plays in the important role in developing social harmony, nation's economy. In fact, in India, time is separate division. In India, there is a separate division. It is namely Indian Overseas Affairs which look after 
the affairs of the India abroad. In case of India, there are more than 25 million Indian people in the diaspora across 110 countries and they play five significant role in the society as an investor, as a customer, as a supplier, as an ambassador and lastly as a philanthropic. Indian diaspora has experienced a considerable growth to the capital formation and major investment in the future. It can be in a social infrastructure, business expansion, new venture funds, and diversified portfolio investment. The destin, the destin of the India and its diaspora are intertwined. It is in the interest of the both develop a mutual beneficial relationship and mutual understanding. It is an important tool for India's diplomacy. At the same time, Gujarat has one of the largest diaspora in the world. With this view, it is obvious of Gujarat University to answer the call of the society and engage such an international conference. Though the conference of the Gujarat University will try to its level best to support and take ahead the views and vision of the Gujarat diaspora in a successful way. This event, this event is, has become more auspicious with the involvement of the Gopio. I believe that study abroad program Gujarat University and Gopio will inspire other academic and academicians across the world in the research scholar to conduct the advanced research on diaspora. This is for the first time that the Gujarat University has taken a lead and offered a collaborative with the Gopio. With Gujarat University, the first ever chapter of the Gopio is being launched at Gujarat University. This will make us one of the one relationship. The pioneer role played by Dr. Thomas Abraham and their counterparts at USA. And the way in which people have come down from around the world and all over from the India motivating side. It is a motivating side. I can assure you on behalf of the Gujarat University that Gopio will not get disappointed with its tie up with the Gujarat University. I now feel that member of the Gopio, NRI, POI, and Phil India as a next destination of the world. I welcome you again. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir.